when using color sensors, it is important to calibrate them depending on the light conditions in your venue. In this way, the calibrated sensor will show values between 0 and probably 100, independent of the light conditions in the venue. But using the default EV3 color sensor calibration available in the color sensor block could lead to some very unpredicted problems that are difficult to resolve and difficult, mostly difficult to track down. Especially if you are using a number of color sensors like 2 or 3. So in this series of tutorials we will implement the calibration ourselves discussing the principles of color sensor calibration. At the end we will have three blocks that we can import in the EV3G software and we will have a program for calibrating and stopping on a black line. The program works like this. The sensor is calibrated, the robot stops at the black line and we also show some of the values of the different sensors, the minimum and the maximum, to, to discuss the calibration. So let's dive in and start with a few very simple steps. We have more than one sensor on our robot. Each sensor could have a different calibrated value. But when changing the ports of these calibrated sensors, we could have some problems. And uh, these are problems that are difficult to track down. We are taking in this series of tutorials a different approach and we are implementing the calibration on our own. How does the program behave at the end? At the end we have a program and we start the program. It calibrates and then it stops at the next black line. Of course, after the calibration, we could use this calibrated value to follow a different line or to align to a black line, but for this example, we will just stop at this black line. Our whole process, our whole program consists of three blocks and you can find the blocks in the course attached. You can download them, import them directly in your EV3G software. The whole process is the following. First, we initialize an array with some values and this happens right when you start the robot. Then we calibrate, move for about a second to calibrate to see the maximum and the minimum value and then we start looking for a minimum value. Again the program calibrating, stopping at the black line. So the blocks are in the course, you can download them and use them directly in your programs look at the code of the blocks, try to understand it. If you have any comments, do a comment below the video and we'll try to answer. And now let's dive in implementing the different blocks. This is the program that we have at the end. And we have a block for initializing an array in, and in this array we store the different values for minimum and maximum for the different sensors. Then we move forward for about a second and while moving we calibrate the minimum and the maximum value for each sensor and after a second we stop. Then we move forward and detect the value of the third sensor. And if this value is less than 90%, this means that we are just starting with black, we stop. Again, this program could be achieved with a lot of different blocks and a lot of different programs, but the goal of this tutorial is to give you an idea how to do an advanced calibration, how to implement the calibration yourself so that you can track the problems of, of having more than one sensor that needs to be calibrated.